Hi, this is Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick on behalf of AccuTools, wrapping up the last section of this four-part series. This is just some additional notes on vacuum and uh, some things about gauge maintenance that I thought you might like to know. That vacuum sensor, that thermistor sensor, is just a little glass bead suspended on two wires, and that can get contaminated. Now, most of the time when you're opening a system up to vacuum, you know, we're, we're uh, like, like in this case here, I've got a, I pull down the system and I, and I get it down and I want to cut in the charge on there. A lot of times you don't want to take your vacuum gauge off because you're going to introduce air into the system. What I want to do is I want to always attach my gauge on my liquid line in my machine. T attach it to the, low, to the high side, liquid line. And whenever I open up the porting, I want to open up on the suction side. And the reason I want to open up on the suction is because when I open it up, it's going to carry some of the oil out of the compressor and it's going to go in the suction line. When I start it back up again, I want it to suck right back into the compressor. Well, the cool thing is when that gas works its way around, I'm not going to carry the oil all the way over to the micron gauge. So when I don't carry it all the way over to the micron gauge, all I'm going to expose my micron gauge to is a small amount of refrigerant. Now, refrigerant will make the gauge read a little funny, but it will not contaminate it with oil. Refrigerant won't hurt the gauge. Oil is what contaminates the sensor. If you get a, a system that has a contaminated sensor, it'll tell you calibration is needed soon or maintenance is needed soon. And literally, all you have to do here is take an eyedropper, uh, take a small amount of uh, rubbing alcohol, eject it into the, uh, into the sensor itself, put your finger over it, slosh it around, pour it out, and then put it on a vacuum pump, and it'll tell you that, it, that it's back to good on there. It's just that easy to run it through that process and clean it. So this is a, a calibration of actually, this slide should say oil on here. And I guess I got a calibration slide on there, but it should tell you if it's oil contaminated or if it needs calibration. It's a ton if it needs calibration soon. But if it's that oil, it'll actually tell you it has oil, and then it'll tell you when it's clean if we're good. All right, everything leaks, and this will be very apparent with your blue back gauges. And what you're going to see here is that um, when you isolate the system, you're going to see that level of decay. Uh, you've got a vacuum gauge that has a resolution of 0.1 microns on there. It's very, very seldom that you're going to see that that 0.1 micron uh, indication is going to stop moving on there. What we want to make sure is that our vacuum rate of decay is less than one micron per minute. That's the beauty of the pro gauge is that we can actually let the computer tell us when the rise rate is low enough. But everything, everything leaks. Our hoses leak, Appian hoses leak, quarter inch hoses leak. It's the leak rate we're concerned with. Our hoses have one of the lowest leak rates on the industry. Vacuum rated means can pull down to not hold. So here I've got this pump running and I pulled down to 19 microns at the pump and 24 microns at the hose. I have a five micron difference in pressure between those two. Part of that is moisture in the hose that's boiling off still. It could be uh, microscopic leaks in the hose, but we have a pressure difference between the inlet and outlet of the hose on there, but I can have 24 microns at my hose end. If you did this with an Appian hose, you might get down to 75 to 100 microns max. If you did this with a, a quarter inch hose, you might get down to 400 microns at the deepest amount of vacuum. Each one of these hoses uh, operates a little bit differently, but you got to remember that the core tools that we have on the system, if you can zoom out for just a minute, the core tools that we have on here are designed to isolate the hoses. So when we close these core tools, I've isolated my hose, I've isolated my vacuum pump, I've isolated most of the things that can leak, and now I'm just testing vacuum right here on my gauge, on my, on my line set, and on my system. These core tools, their design is to lock this thing off so we eliminate as much leak potential as possible. You cannot test the core tool on its own. You can't just hook a gauge to the end of your core tool and see if your core tool is tight on there because that volume in there is literally the, 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 an, an eighth of an inch diameter. It's so tiny that you're going to see that fast leak rate of your core tool. It's just too small and the leak rate's too big to prove anything. You want to test your rig like I'm doing here for ultimate pull down and, and the rig should pull within a few microns of the pump's pull. So you can see here, I can pull 19 pumps, 19 microns at the pump. 24 microns. This is probably after about 10 or 15 minutes that this is pulled down here that we achieve this ultimate vacuum level. But whenever we pull it, the pump should be very, very close to what I see at the end of the hose. I want to take all the work the pump is doing and move it to the end of the hoses. And again, that's one of the most important things that we can check is, the, is the how well our rig works on there. So why true blue hoses? Simply this, we get deeper vacuums faster. It's a large diameter hose, but not too large. We showed you got diminishing returns when your hose gets up to inch or inch and an eighth. It just, it doesn't help us that much. Low water adhesion properties mean the hose is going to dry out very quickly. Very, very low outgassing, very low permeation. 
It's an engineered solution for vacuum. Nobody else in the industry is doing that right now. User configurable, meaning that all these ends can come off here. We can put quarter, half, three eighths inch hoses on here, nineties on here. A lot of flexibility in how we use these hoses. They're also very, very uh, flexible. Hoses can come in everything from our professional kit here with all the, the three hoses and all the fittings you might want to use, all the way down to our basic kit, which is just a core tool, a half, three eighths, a quarter inch connection and some clamps. And this is a, what a lot of residential techs would need uh, to simply pull a, a one uh, hose evacuation on a system. AccuTools also makes a plethora of other projects, products, including charging scales, leak detectors, vacuum gauges. Uh, really take a look at the line. They've got some really, really innovative, dependable products out there. But this gives you a really good overview of what, uh, what we have and, and what they have to offer. And again, you know, really what it comes down to is this. Every, ma every measurement you make matters every single time. And again, this is Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick on behalf of AccuTools. Thanks a lot for watching.